When was money invented? Before money was invented, people bartered for goods and services. It wasn't until about 5,000 years ago that the Mesopotamian people created the shekel, which is considered the first known form of currency. Gold and silver coins date back to around 650 to 600 BC when stamped coins were used to pay armies. Some evidence suggests that metal coins may be as old as 1250 BC. What was used before money was invented? When there was no currency, people traded goods and services for what they needed. One farmer might trade livestock for vegetables, while another may trade labor or lumber for livestock. These transactions were the early building blocks of our modern economy and would go on to create the future of money the world knows today. In the beginning, barter. Barter is the exchange of resources or services for mutual advantage, and the practice likely dates back tens of thousands of years, perhaps even to the dawn of modern humans. Some would even argue that it's not purely a human activity. Plants and animals have been bartering, in symbiotic relationships, for millions of years. In any case, barter among humans certainly predates the use of money. Today individuals, organizations, and governments still use, and often prefer, barter as a form of exchange of goods and services. 9000, 6000, B, C, Cattle Cattle, which throughout history and across the globe have included not only cows but also sheep, camels, and other livestock, are the first and oldest form of money. With the advent of agriculture also came the use of grain and other vegetable or plant products as a standard form of barter in many cultures. 1200 BC, Cowrie Shells The first use of cowries, the shells of a mollusk that was widely available in the shallow waters of the Pacific and Indian Oceans, was in China. Historically, many societies have used cowries as money, and even as recently as the middle of this century, cowries have been used in some parts of Africa. The cowrie is the most widely and longest used currency in history. 1000 BC, first metal money and coins. Bronze and copper cowrie imitations were manufactured by China at the end of the Stone Age and could be considered some of the earliest forms of metal coins. Metal tool money, such as knife and spade monies, was also first used in China. These early metal monies developed into primitive versions of round coins. Chinese coins were made out of base metals, often containing holes so they could be put together like a chain. 500 BC, Modern Coinage Outside of China, the first coins developed out of lumps of silver. They soon took the familiar round form of today, and were stamped with various gods and emperors to mark their authenticity. These early coins first appeared in Lydia, which is part of present-day Turkey, but the techniques were quickly copied and further refined by the Greek, Persian, Macedonian, and later the Roman empires. Unlike Chinese coins which depended on base metals, these new coins were made from precious metals such as silver, bronze, and gold, which had more inherent value. 118 BC, Leather Money Leather money was used in China in the form of one-foot square pieces of white deerskin with colorful borders. This could be considered the first documented type of banknote. 806, Paper Currency The first known paper banknotes appeared in China. In all, China experienced over 500 years of early paper money, spanning from the 9th through the 15th century. Over this period, paper notes grew in production to the point that their value rapidly depreciated and inflation soared. Then beginning in 1455, the use of paper money in China disappeared for several hundred years. This was still many years before paper currency would reappear in Europe, and three centuries before it was considered common. Potlack Potlack comes from a Chinook Indian custom that existed in many North American Indian cultures. It is a ceremony where not only were gifts exchanged, but dances, feasts, and other public rituals were performed. In some instances potlack was a form of initiation into secret tribal societies. Because the exchange of gifts was so important in establishing a leader's social rank, 
potlack often spiraled out of control as the gifts became progressively more lavish and tribes put on larger and grander feasts and celebrations in an attempt to outdo each other. Wampum. The earliest known use of wampum, which are strings of beads made from clamshells, was by North American Indians in 1535. Most likely, this monetary medium existed well before this date. The Indian word, wampum, means white, which was the color of the beads. The gold standard. Gold was officially made the standard of value in England in 1816. At this time, guidelines were made to allow for a non-inflationary production of standard banknotes which represented a certain amount of gold. Banknotes had been used in England and Europe for several hundred years before this time, but their worth had never been tied directly to gold. In the United States, the Gold Standard Act was officially enacted in 1900, which helped lead to the establishment of a central bank. End of the Gold Standard The massive depression of the 1930s, felt worldwide, marked the beginning of the end of the Gold Standard. In the United States, the Gold Standard was revised and the price of gold was devalued. This was the first step in ending the relationship altogether. The British and international gold standards soon ended as well, and the complexities of international monetary regulation began. Credit cards. While credit has existed for ages, the first universal credit card was not introduced until 1950. That year Americans Ralph Schneider and Frank McNamara founded the Diners Club. Other cards were soon created, and in 1959 American Express debuted a plastic card. We have IBM to thank for the magnetic stripe on credit cards, which was introduced in the 1960s to contain account information. Because of the stripe, merchants no longer needed to make phone calls to obtain authorization from credit companies. In the 1990s, cards began to have chips embedded in them to encrypt their information, providing even greater security. Bitcoins Bitcoin is a digital currency system created in 2009 by an anonymous computer programmer or group of programmers known as Satoshi Nakamoto. The currency is not issued by a central bank and is not regulated, though a decentralized network of computers keeps track of transactions. Users of Bitcoins are anonymous, known only by their digital wallet ID. The value of bitcoins is determined by bidding, similar to the way stocks are valued. Digital money. The innovation of fiat money has also allowed for online transactions, as now financial exchanges can be logged digitally through verified financial institutions without physical representations ever changing hands. Digital money is characterized as any money transaction that only takes place electronically, with no physical money being exchanged. Digital money greatly improves the monetary system, allowing for instantaneous transactions across borders and speeding up the implementation of monetary policy through central banks.